Like I was saying, like our schedules are totally off, but they work for us right now. And on the weekends, I get to like binge watch whatever I want to watch on TV, which is reality TV, because he does not like to watch reality TV with me. Day because I love 90 Day Fiance. I love watching like the worst of the worst things ever on the weekends. So that's like my time. The weekend is my time to do whatever I want. I lay on the sofa. I don't have to cook that much. I do cook, but I don't have to cook. Gavin's doing his own thing. I journal, I take baths, I like incense, I like sage, I do whatever I want by myself. And, and then you, you like sage and watch 90 Day Fiance. Yes! Listen, <laughs> I, don't have nothing, I don't have nothing against 90 Day Fiance, but that shit is just hard to watch people make fools out of themselves on TV. But that shit, it's, it's, could be, it's funny, but I'd be like, come on, bro. Like, come on, you really gonna go. But like, I'm not watching it expecting it to be like, I'll be I'm just like, watching it for entertainment purposes, and I feel like. It entertains me for a long time. It's entertaining, but it's too far. It, it, all right, they be going too far though. Like the dudes be going, oh, what? I haven't seen her in six months, but I just gave her ten grand. Like what? Yeah, that, this shit is weird, son. Like I, I understand your pain, as well, <laughs> but I just really enjoy the show. So I, that's like the only time I get to watch what I really want to watch. Cody, Cody, mm -hmm. and the Cody. people <laughs> on the show. I don't know, but the weekends are like for me. And um, I like it. And during Tuesday, Wednesdays, I work or whatever sometimes. Or if I don't work, I just hang out with him. Um, like yesterday, we did absolutely nothing, which felt great to just like sit back and just do nothing because sometimes we have to just do nothing versus having to like go pick up the kids and then go do this and then go do that and wash. Like, you don't have to do laundry every day, you don't have to do all those things. So, we chose to do nothing yesterday but lay, watch TV, be with each other, and that's it. It was awesome. And we're also here to see the most stuff that uh, he released. Well, it's not even most stuff. It's Yasin Bey, right? Yasin Bey. Uh, always most. Yeah, he's always most. <laughs> so one of our favorite um, artists, most stuff. He's having his album release here in um, Brooklyn Museum. He's only releasing it to the museum and not on any digital platform. So we get to listen to it. Um, they're gonna lock up our phones, unfortunately, so we can't like record the album on the phones and like show everybody. But we get to listen to the album. Um, privately with headphones in a little exhibition that they're having so that's gonna be pretty cool and we're also get to catch a JR who's like a pretty he's a French artist who's a street artist and he photographs and does installments all over the city and all over the world um, displaying people's uh, regular struggles that we go through all the time but so yeah we're just waiting still to get in it's freezing so I'm giving you a little a little of what we're doing today in here and then hopefully we can have lunch before Gavin gets out of school. Um, so yeah.
Oh, look. A chocolate bar. That's a Yasin Bay chocolate bar? Yeah, look, I'm getting one of these pins. I'm gonna get this book and this bag. I'm gonna get everything. Is that chocolate? I really like this shirt right here. me a gift my husband bought me a gift he says my christmas gift is a t-shirt y'all a t-shirt he said here 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 happy birthday in two months Did you like the the most stuff album? Oh, uh, it was dope. It, it was, was awesome. Dope. I want to hear it again. Like the energy was so crazy in there. And, like the room was just like a room with like art and just like dim lights and like these the crates that you sit on the, the bodegas and stuff like that. <laughs> a little curtains on it. It was just really nice. It was a good experience. Mm -hmm. um, and then like you in there with strangers just sitting. There yeah, just, just bopping your head with your headphones on and stuff. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. And like when we got out. I, it was like so intense because like you know you're not gonna hear the album ever, ever again unless you, unless, right, unless you just go see it again and pay twenty five dollars again to go see it. But like the idea that when I got out of there, I was just thinking about remembering all the lines in my head and like I was like, you God, so right? Like stop talking to me, stop talking to me because I want to keep it in my mind. But then I remember things in my mind, but I can't. Well, the thing is, I wanted to write it down. Like I had a notebook and I was like, <laughs> should I pull the notebook out and <laughs> start taking notes? But I was like, whatever. Well, the thing about me is like I, I'm just a fan of most. Like, so yeah. I wasn't expecting it to like be mind blowing. Like, so when I went, I was just like, I'm just happy to hear him, just to hear. Right, him. something new, something you know what like right. just some new music from him, something different I never heard. Right, that's why it was just dope. And so the idea of like, not having a phone as well, like, word. made it more, more fulfilling. Like, it was kind of like your your whole attention span was on this album, so yeah. it's like you felt it all around. So yeah. that was awesome. And it was aggressive. Some of the, a lot of the pieces in the beginning were aggressive. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, I, I just like that he experimented with all different kinds of sounds and all that shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? It was dope. But it was so good. I want more. But you know how Moose is, man. He, he's he's probably going to put it out like later on. Like, and later then. On. That's why I was tight because his ecstatic album is not online. You said everything was out, right? No, nah, just the ecstatic album. I was trying to, well, you know, we don't have, I, we have Google Play. Google yeah. Play track, <laughs> but you couldn't even buy it. Right. You couldn't even buy the album. Yeah. So I'm like, I don't know if it's on Apple. I, I, I'm not I sure. Know. But I, 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 um. It was awesome. It was just dope, man. Yeah, it's a good you know experience. It was, it was awesome. Good. Also, I think I like the way that he, um, ex uh, displayed, like, put the album on exhibit, like how he exhibited the album. Like, right. I've never experienced that where you could go in, you could only hear the album. There. Yeah, you can't buy it. You right. It kind of forces you to listen. You know what right. I'm saying? So, and then like the whole no phone thing is like you had no choice but to sit there to and just be present. Yeah. And that was super important to me. And it just felt good. The energy was crazy. Like yeah. I felt that like all over. I was like, yo, right. <laughs> give me more. No, if you would have popped up in there, you probably would have fainted. You yeah, know? but I've seen him already. <laughs> <concerts>. <laughs> Thank you for traveling around on the road. I like it. Sam says, "See the property, see the property, see the property." I'm not so sad about that. Yeah, yeah, that's dope. Oh, that was still dope. Alright, okay, so should go eat somewhere. Should go eat somewhere. I love you. Yeah. Okay, let's go eat. there because I want Thai food. I always want Thai food but I never get it. And when I do get it, it's delivered to the house and it's not that fire. So hopefully sitting here it's more fire. Give me Thai food now. You got to.
Yes. You guys ready to order? Like, yeah. Yes. Do you hear the romantic music playing for us? You are now tuned into the quiet story. This is WBLS. Mm hmm. You know what the quiet story is? Mm hmm. Dumplings. Mm, tear it up, baby. My own. I know, you, I know you're ready. I like drums, we like flats. You know what I'm saying? I like flats. I had them flats. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And there's no yeah. flats? Oh, good. There's a flat right there, right there. <laughs> So today is Saturday and I'm so excited because we're going on, uh, well my husband and I are going on a little spontaneous date night today. Um, we go on date nights all the time, however, it's been a long time since we've been on a date night at night. Our schedules are so different that we end up going on date nights, well daytime dates on like, um, like Tuesday, Wednesday, whenever he's off work versus the weekends because he's not up on the weekends and we have people have to request him off and like we don't want to use days for that you know what i'm saying it's okay we'll live we'd rather just go on vacation with those days or take a whole like weekend off or something um but so his aunt called us yesterday and she i mentioned that she had some boxing tickets uh, uh for some, some box tickets over at the barclay center and we've never been to a boxing match ever in our lives and it's something I know that we probably always wanted to just go do out of all the things that we have to do. So we said yes, we'll go. And so I'm waiting for my husband to get home from work. I'm currently ready to go. We have to actually leave right away because we're actually um, a little late since he's coming from work and he has to go pick up the tickets first. And then we have to drop our son off at uh, somewhere else to stay the night, whatever the case is. So I'm really excited. This is my little, uh, my little date night look. I have my favorite earrings on that I bought on eBay for about $15. Um, I saw them on a girl on, Inst on Instagram, however, they were like 50 bucks, and I'm not paying $50 for that. So I ended up looking for them and looking for them forever, and I found them on eBay for like $15, and they turned out to be so good, if you can tell, they're not even like tainted or anything. They're amazing earrings. Um, they're very vintage. I love it. Um, and I have some lipstick on today. I even wore foundation. I actually have not worn foundation in a long time. I don't wear anything on my face anymore. Um, so I decided to wear foundation. I felt a little weird where I was going to actually like take it off my face. I didn't like how it was, but it looks good. I think I look nice. Um, I'm wearing a turtleneck, of course. I love turtlenecks. This is like the newest turtleneck I have, so it's like very crispy and black. I just got it the other day. Um, so I'm just waiting for my husband to get home and then we'll be on our way to for our little spontaneous night <laughs> Hopefully we don't fall asleep outside since it's been such a long time that we've been I think since our anniversary in May was the last time we had like a little night cap at night and stuff and like it was a crazy night <laughs> It was a crazy night. You ever like gone too far? Or what you drink or whatever it was that was me that day it was a fun day it was a very fun day but that was the last time we've been out at night but other than that so excited I can't wait and just wait for my husband I'll see you guys later this is my little outfit together my boots I love my boots so much I got them from pretty little thing they're so pretty We're running. <laughs> We're straight, late. Straight off work. We're late, but we're going to get there. It's daytime. Sure. <laughs> <laughs>
Welcome to Parkview Center. Your safety and security is our top priority. Help expedite the security screening process. We be prepared to do the following. Yeah, we just found out he just got paid two million dollars to just lose. That's yeah, kind of cool. Two billion to get knocked. But I mean, the goal is not to go in there and lose. Of course. But do you really lose if you won two million? No, you win. You win, you go chill. You lose and you win. It's a win-win. Kinda. With some ice packs in your body, you good. Word. That was fun. That was a good experience. Would you go in the ring for two million against one of those girls? I guess she just fucked me up. Shit. You gonna get laid out for two million? Lay me out. So yeah, that was so much fun. And hopefully we can go again one day with Gavin. Yeah. Yeah. I think he likes it too. Yeah, Gavin will like it. Okay, bye. You got a Philly from where at this time? From my store. It's 12, it's 11.30, baby. They didn't have making no Phillies now. Oh, you're right. Two hoes. Come on, take Oh my God, he's trying to learn Spanish and he didn't stop. So now we came here because we need something to eat and everything is closed. So, get a check-in. Oh my god. Okay. Buenas noches, días. Siete, ocho. Me llamo Kevin y tú. ¿Dónde, dónde este va? Como siete, sí. You can't teach anybody anything. What? <laughs> That's how big my girls are.